They're strong, and then there's Army Strong. It is not just the strength to obey, but the strength to command. Not just strength in numbers, the strength of brothers. Not just the strength to lift, the strength to raise. Not just the strength to get yourself over, the strength to get over yourself. It's more than physical strength. It is emotional strength. There is nothing on this green earth stronger than the U.S. Army, because there is nothing on this green earth stronger than a U.S. Army soldier. There's strong, and then there's Army strong. Find out more at GoArmy.com slash strong. The Carlyle Group is one of America's largest weapons contractors. For the Bush and Bin Laden families, war means profits, big profits. Although the media creates the illusion of freedom of the press, the dominant opinion and messages always serve the fangster's agenda. Messages like, support your troops or you're a traitor to America. But who are the troops? Many are teenagers whose childhood entertainment was shooting out the blood and guts of virtual people in places that are virtually real. Now they're blowing up real people in places that are really real, like schools, hospitals and villages filled with families and children. Burns, open wounds, amputations, spinal cord injuries, broken bones, eyes that have been sprayed with shrapnel. The list is long and predictable. The chilling reality is that up to 15% of the tax money deducted from your paycheck each month buys the bombs and pays the salaries of troops to commit these atrocities. Rivers of blood from innocent families and their children is on everybody's hands. The plan for world domination by the banksters cannot be accomplished without your cooperation. A more important question to ask is, who exactly are the terrorists and where do terrorists get their training? The answer is right smack in America at Fort Benning, Georgia. Until January 2001, America's terrorist training school was called School of the Americas. But because of massive protests against its activities, the name was changed to WISC, Western Hemisphere Institute for Security Cooperation. Actress Susan Sarandon narrated a documentary film called School of the Assassins. The film exposes the school as a terrorist training camp whose graduates are well-known murderers, torturers, state terrorists, and dictators, including drug king Manuel Noriega. The role of terrorists in the bankster-owned media is to scare the living tax dollars out of citizens, and timing is everything. and banking monopolists now have the power to make or break political leaders around the globe. Why haven't the networks made a TV movie of the week about how the Bush family made their family fortune? The movie could be called The Awful Truth, starring George W.'s great-grandfather Samuel P. Bush, whose Buckeye Steel Castings Company supplies parts for Edward Harriman's railroads, who in turn provides rail shipments for John D. Rockefeller's Standard Oil, who in turn gets monopoly financing from the Rothschilds. The movie could be made into a TV series starring Samuel's son, Prescott Bush, as the managing director of a Nazi steel manufacturing plant in Poland called Silesian Consolidated Steel. In episode one, Prescott Bush forwards American financing to his German partner, Fritz Tyson through the Union Banking Corporation in New York. 
Fritz Tyson arranges a contract with Nazi Germany's IG Farben Company for free Jewish slave labor in Bush's steel manufacturing plant at the Auschwitz concentration camp. Episode 2 shows Skull and Bonesman Prescott Bush and Avril Harriman getting caught under Trading with the Enemy Act as the U.S. government moves in and seizes all of their shares in Union Banking Corporation. In episode three, Prescott's son, the first George Bush, is director of the CIA. George puts drug king Manuel Noriega on the CIA payroll, allowing thousands of tons of cocaine to hit the streets of America via the Panama Canal. In episode four, George's son, the second George Bush, becomes partners with Osama bin Laden's older brother, Salem bin Laden, in a Texas oil company called Arbusto Energy. Episode 5 introduces George W. Shady younger brother, Neil Bush, ripping off the elderly in the Silverado savings and loan scandal that cost U.S. taxpayers $1.3 billion. In Episode 6, the Florida election is fixed by George W.'s older brother, Jeb Bush, who puts brother George into the top job at the White House, which brings us back to Auschwitz and the concluding episode with George W. Bush visiting the slave labor camp where his grandfather helped build the Bush family fortune on free Jewish slave labor. These sites are a sobering reminder that of the power of evil and the need for people to resist evil. Ladies and gentlemen, as a follow-up to the TV series, an award show could celebrate the 20-year friendship of the Bush and Bin Laden families and their shared investment in the Carlyle Group. Uh, one of my colleagues who is right in the middle of the collapse of those buildings is uh, CNBC's Ron Insana, who went down with a cameraman hoping to get close to the World Trade Center, and then it began to come down, the first one. Ron, take us through what you experienced. Well, Tom, uh, much of the area had been, in fact, cordoned off, uh, and the cameraman from MSNBC and I were trying to get across to the west side of the World Trade Center in order to hook up with the rest of the NBC crews that we knew were there. As we were moving towards the building, we saw the top begin to blow out in a plume of smoke, and we heard the noise uh, associated with an implosion. We turned and immediately ran for cover in the other direction as debris began to rain down. As we made our way, John going straight down the street, I taking a right turn around a corner, uh, it got increasingly dark. The skies blackened as the material just continued to rain down. I, I hid briefly behind a car, uh, and as the material got thicker and thicker and it became increasingly difficult to breathe, I got inside a parked car, a random parked car, and... These were the men that secured our nation. In this, I think, is glory, glory, glory. Is glory, glory, glory. Is glory, glory. 